Dr. John, welcome back to FACE. Hey, good morning. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Let's share a, a chart hope. here. Hope is good. Yeah. Happy uh, happy leap year. We get an extra day. Yeah. Are you jumping up and down? You I leaping? am. Yeah. Extra day of trading this month. This is exciting. Can you stuff a basketball? Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, I'm. You know, we are coming up to March Madness, so leap there year. I don't know. Maybe at a good vertical. So, right. uh, what's on the docket? Hey. So. Uh, so yeah. So like I said, we got an extra trading day. So. Uh, so we'll see how this month ends up closing, right? I've got the uh, the three month chart pulled up here um, on the SPX. So um, again, last time we talked, Dale, uh, we you know we we definitely had a, a a theory of this going back to all time highs, and we got there. Um, you know, I just, I just, I just do find it funny. It's like, uh, there's been no rate cut, right? There hasn't been, and you guys were talking this morning at some of the economic data and it's like not much of a change. Um, but yeah, all time highs. There you go. So we made it. So, um, all sorts of possibilities here. Again, there still is the chance that we have this running flat, uh, which is basically the fake out move, uh, where you have your A, B, Right, which gives your fake out, and then you have the sharp pullback wave C. So that is a possibility. Um, but as we go and uh, and we kind of just, just zoom in here on the daily monthly? chart. Oh yeah, yeah, that was monthly. a quarterly on that oh, one. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, the big thing we've really been tracking at uh, we've been tracking is this channel. I think we talked about this last time, and yeah. um, you know we just got nowhere close to breaking down on it. Right, we just kind of uh, set a fresh low, uh, which basically tested the prior channel lows and then came right back through it. And now we're actually above it. So at this point, until that channel breaks down, it's hard to be really bearish on this market. Just uh, you know, you can have any argument that you want, but in the meantime, it is still uh, working on its trend. Now this recent move has been been very interesting. Interesting. Um, I just want to just kind of illustrate that uh, we've gone beyond. This might get messy here if I put a, a, a drawing up here, but we've gone beyond. Uh, or I can't even get that now. There we go. We've gone beyond a symmetrical move up, right? So this this market has just been pushing. And I guess what do you think, Dale has been pushing on uh, the AI hype? Is that is that been the whole thing here? Yeah, I think you know uh, Nvidia. AI. Yeah. I think it's a big part of it. I'm, I mean, there are some mag. I think they've changed the name of the Mag Seven to the Mag Four now, the Mag 4. where they've taken Apple out, um, Google, and Tesla. Exactly, isn't that interesting? So you've got you've got Nvidia, which was kind of a non-player for for a while. Uh, we even, I think we even talked about last time. It was a, uh, it was forever an amazing strategy on earnings just to sell an iron condor because it never moved, and now it yeah. just moves like 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 crazy bitcoin. right so yeah like exactly like bitcoin and so um so this thing's been wild i mean I, i've got a uh i tried to construct a uh, a chart here to see if we can get to a thousand um because we've already reached some sort of escape velocity even if you took like this we're at like some huge like, like 17 x extension on this thing so um so yeah so uh, anything is possible if it can if it can do this especially after the last stock split we liked it at the beginning of 2023 um, and it definitely moved, but I never expected it to move like this, right? So, so that's been pretty wild. And then you've got names like uh, AI, which I don't even really know what they do. And uh, they, um, I think they had earnings, right? And uh, we're up a bit. I don't know if I got pre-market data on here, but I think we're up um, after earnings yesterday too. So, so that's kind of interesting. So it's that AI hype, and and like you said, Tesla. And Apple have not been playing really along in this rally very much, right? You've got Warren Buffett selling a bunch of it. I mean, not, you know, a lot. What was it like ten? I mean, for for most people, it's a lot. Um, but uh, for him, not too much. I think it was like ten percent or something like that. Yeah. So you have like a one sixty target on that one pattern. Yeah. Apple. So uh, so it is possible here that I mean, it's a bit of a contrarian view. Uh, in, in fact, I think it, the harmonic kind of invalidated itself. You've got a mini one here. Let me uh, let me try to draw a fresh one here. Uh, let's go here. So you kind of have this type feel to it. Let's see. A 1.618 takes us down to 170. A 2.618, yeah, that, that brings us below the uh, uh, the 160 mark there. So that's interesting on Apple. Uh, and of course, we have the uh, uh, Tesla. I mean, you could say that it's playing along with the rally, but it's definitely this is no Nvidia right now, right? Yeah. So, um, so I've got a. I still have a bearish harmonic on this one. Um, you know, taking it down maybe to a uh, 
a 2.618 extension, which would be down here. Uh, and I do have a wave count that, that kind of supports it as like a one, two, uh, it kind of looks like a one, two, one, two. So it is possible that, uh, that Tesla still continues this, uh, this move. And that's, that's been interesting, right? Because we usually don't see the NASDAQ pushing to fresh highs with Apple and Tesla not playing along. So it how just about shows Google, us uh, mm. Alphabet, Alphabet mm. has also taken a few hits recently. A few more hits, uh, not as uh, not as painful as uh, those other charts. Uh, this has gone up to about the 3.618, so I'm not surprised to see a little bit of a, uh, a pullback here. That ABC never really kind of worked its way out, so it might be working on some sort of consolidation phase, corrective phase, but but it's hanging in there, you know. So uh, and again, if it does anything like Nvidia, it could go all the way oh, yeah. up yonder. <laughs> How about uh, so Apple's the second largest market cap. Uh, Microsoft did not make new highs with the recent uh, parabolic move to the upside. Uh, right. What do you see in there? Yeah, I mean, Microsoft has kind of been in its own little world here, too. Uh, you know, considering it, it, along with NVIDIA, wasn't doing much for a very long time. It was just sort of like an IBM, Intel type company. And uh, ever since they bought, uh, what is it, the uh, uh, OpenAI AI. Um, it's been hot. So, um, so again, I would keep an eye on all these, uh, all these big movers that, that have been happening recently. Uh, one of the things that, that we've been looking at is just the monthly chart. So one of the things, Dale, that we could do is we can look at all the recent kind of goofy booms that we've seen, right? So you've got your Beyond Meat. Remember that one? Yeah. So, you know, we, we look at the monthly chart. It's like, okay, yeah, it goes crazy. And then uh, once we get a little bit of red confirmation on it, they tend to uh, to pull back down. I'm not saying that NVIDIA is going to do as much as uh, as some of these names, but um, but it is possible, right? Here's your Piton, right? Um, Kathy Woods, I know she's put over $100 million into Roku, again, averaging down on this Roku trade. I, I just don't still see looks it. Like, still looks ugly. Yeah, like yeah. Red. I mean, can we get – I mean – we did have a little bit of a. Why green do people uh, follow her? They do, yeah. I, and Why? She, they, I, I, I guess they, they they're believers, you know. So it just is what yeah. it is, right? A lot it's of people like a religion. Yeah, something like that, right? Exactly. Okay. So, John, so. you know, we we've talked about some of these uh, mega caps and some vulnerability there. Uh, lately, the biotechs have been um, really running hard. Uh, where do you think the rotation will be? If what led before isn't going to lead, uh, where are you seeing money flow? Well, that's that a great, could be the new leaders. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a great point too because that was another big one, right? So it's like, where's the trends going, right? Remember Envax? Remember the uh, the whole COVID thing? I mean, look at this. This thing went crazy. So is there potential for it again? Maybe it does seem to to like the spike. Um, you know, we'll see where it goes. Uh, again, we've been seeing that kind of across the board with a lot of these, uh, a lot of these biotech names. There's Pfizer, right? Just, uh, just red, lots of red right here at, at some interesting support levels. So who knows? Maybe there's a little bit of an oil trade out there, right? You've got your Oxy. Um, you know, we've been tracking this. I know Warren Buffett still likes this name. Um, it's been holding this level really well recently. Yeah, where it is right now. So, and and you know, he uh, Warren hasn't been letting up on his position on this one. So that's an interesting one to keep an eye on. Uh, you know, this whole sector that that could get really interesting. Um, yeah. So those are a, a couple of the things that we're looking at. Keep an eye on. And, you know, and I would still not, you know, the uh, the KRE. I mean, this is not really a strong chart, right? So, I mean, it these regional not. banks, a little bit, a yeah. little bit iffy. IWM hasn't really been playing along. It gave a it gave a pretty decent rally recently. And again, I still have the monthly chart up here, but it's just kind of in this like, who knows? I mean, uh, let's go with this. Let's do an ABC on this one. So just like an A, B, you know, C type thing. All right. So that's the small caps. So you're not really seeing it. It's mostly just these this AI hype type thing that we're seeing out there. So the real question is, when's it going to, is it going to, uh, to, to let up like all these other hype uh, charts that we've seen in the past? And uh, is it going to pull back as much as they have? So uh, I think that's, you know, what used to be uh you know, a favorite of hard money people has been the miners and yeah. they are back to near 2020 lows, COVID lows. Right. Do you see anything developing there that might be uh, signaling a bottom? Uh, I mean, there is a, uh, I mean, you've got, you know, names like, you know, CCJ, yeah. uh, which oh, are yeah. kind of pushing the uranium. Way, right? yeah, uranium. So that's kind of interesting. 
Yeah. Yeah. That was a n- nice run. But anything in the golds? Uh, the golds, I mean, the golds yeah, been guys... stiff. Gold's Ooh. been stiff, but look at the miners. Look at GDX. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is to me, I mean, just, just looking at gold right here. This is a monthly chart again on gold. Yeah, uh, doesn't it look like it wants a breakout? Does it, doesn't it look like a cup and handle pattern? I yeah, mean, it look, does. I, where's my little drawings here? Oh, yeah, let's, let's do this. I think I can do this. The arc series here. Is it, am I doing that? Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Cup, yeah, I do. handle, breakout, yeah. big resistance at this level. You guys were just talking about it. So so gold is pretty interesting. And there's been, you know, obviously commentary on that. Oh, no, we, I guess we got to pull up the Bitcoin chart, right? So uh btc usd is that like is that the big one here there we go coinbase oh yeah how about coinbase did you guys did i see that coinbase if you have like bitcoin it's like uh there was there, they put an announcement out oh yeah uh some of you might be showing zero dollars in your account don't worry about it we're working on it oh my god <laughs> is there really a problem with custody people uh, you know people's accounts there i don't i don't know when did that news it. break what was this yesterday? I mean, there was, and there was, you know, folks that are, uh, you know, they're in our little chat room that were like showing like the screenshots of their phone. They're like, yeah, I've got my zero dollar amount right now. So, like, okay, cool. That's great on this rally. That's really, I feel really, really Maybe good. Maybe they about got that. caught short another FTX. I, I hear they're yeah. going to let them out, let them out of jail because no one really lost money because of this rally in Bitcoin. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Get a slap on the wrist on that one. That's you know, there. Uh, there is a guy that uh, I interviewed that really makes a major point out of self-custody of uh, crypto, of specifically Bitcoin, and not to leave your Bitcoin at these exchanges, that but to have them yeah. in your, your heart, not leather wallet, but that hard wallet, right? whatever right. they're called. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, if you're stacking silver, um, you know, you don't want it in someone else's hands. You, you yeah. want, you want the physical, right? Uh, and buried, then it's like, what, what happens when you try to settle? It's like, okay, I'd like to get my, phys- I'd like delivery of my physical silver now, please. Uh, we're having some technical difficult uh, phone <laughs> breaking up okay. here, breaking up Ast- here. Esther <laughs> is saying they fixed it, at right? Coinbase. So okay, people good. Good shouldn't good. have zero balances anymore. Do you have an account there, Esther? Were you nervous? Just curious. All right, John. So um, energy, uh, how about the bond market and yield? Do you have any kind of view on, you know, we've had a correction. Yeah, Yields I mean, have I mean- popped up. We, I think we talked about TLT. this last time too. Uh, yeah. We've got this. We, I've got the TLT pulled up right here. I mean, we've got this. Uh, we started to break out of this sort of bump and run type move. So yeah. maybe we'll get. Well, I, I kind of started this is a monthly chart, right? So I've got this possible one, two. Maybe we'll see a little wave three up here to, to test yeah, that trend line. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, and then see where we go from there. But in the meantime, I mean, like we said earlier, I mean, the, the Fed has not lowered rates yet, right? So I mean. There's still money to be made there, right? Just in just in just in bills. I mean, like, so um, you know, until until rates start going back down again, I mean, there is a uh, you know, there's there's I wouldn't say guaranteed money, but there's some pretty decent money to be made there too. So and keep well, in I mind, you know, that, yeah, the argument for bonds is when they do start lowering rates, if you're just in bills, that goes away. You have mm-hmm. no potential for capital gains, and you have to buy longer term paper to lock in that rate to lock in the rate nice so you know that's a that's a bullish argument in bonds great so yeah Doesn't that's what we're can't... seeing here uh dale yeah. again we hit all-time high so i mean what else do you want from us you know what I mean? <laughs> the real question yeah. is well when are we going to pull back it's like well well you know in this business you're only as good as your last call exactly exactly so uh yeah. I, like i said i, I want to see what have you see done for me lately out. Right, 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 right. So maybe okay. slowly, just like kind of, maybe just watch and see if, if we find some resistance levels on Bitcoin and um, see if NVIDIA can hit a thousand and where we go from there. But again, you really, it, like I said, you got to go back. I'll just pull up NVIDIA here. You know, I mean, I, we need at least a red monthly candle, right, for us to get to get too worried, yeah. right? Because already, like I said, the escape velocity is, is kind of hit. It's hard. You could just, you could put levels up the wazoo and, uh, you know, just, just put any type of Fibonacci you want or whatever the case is, right? And um, blah. So, we'll see. <laughs> okay. 
Marty said he lost 700 transferring from Coinbase to his hard wallet, and they nice. weren't interested. Nice, he lost 700 doing Oh, it. no. Trying to transfer. Uh, Sorry, I and they weren't interested in helping him retrieve it. So you also have to know how to do it, um, you know, how to transfer so you don't take those hits. Sorry about that, Marty. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of the guy that I interview that uh, would help you. Neil, it's Neil somebody. Anyway, I'll, uh, look back at our past interviews. So, uh, John, you want to tell our community? Yeah, about what, you, uh, what you do and you know how they could get involved with you. Yeah, uh, I mean, you guys, if you want to, you could follow me on Twitter, trade with Dr. John. Um, you know, the uh, the at symbol before that, so you can check it out there. I've got uh, this book on Amazon, um, that you guys can check out, um, if you want. And uh, so I stay relatively active on Twitter, so I, you know, I have some ideas that I, that I use out there, and uh, uh, yeah, just uh, you know, keep tuning in and, and watching Dale. And uh, you know, every time we uh, we chat, you know, see if uh, you can gain any new insights from our conversations for sure. Uh, you, you have great energy, uh, any advice for how people could keep their energy level up like you? Ooh, uh, you work out a lot. Uh, is, there, is it a diet? Uh, every time you come on, you're, you're effervescent. So oh, but, I was well, thanks, Dale. Uh, it's just a, it, it's a zest and a passion for uh, uh, the markets, right? And, uh, okay. and life and, and a really good cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, you're a piece of work, John. I really, <laughs> I really appreciate you coming and uh, sharing ideas with us. And people, uh, at the minimum, uh, follow Dr. John. Trade with Dr. John. That's correct. At yeah, yeah. At trade with Dr. John. Correct. Beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. All right, and uh, good hunting. I hope 2024 is a great year for you, John. You too. Enjoy the extra day today. Yeah. Uh, have fun okay. with it and. Um, uh, really appreciate it, Dale. Have a good one. You're uh, you're you're our trading brother. You're you're my trading warrior brother, and I love uh, it. and you have some uh, great energy. And I remember what that used to feel like. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, John. My pleasure. Appreciate All right, it. we'll talk to you guys later. All right, everyone, follow John at Trade with Doctor John, and you could join the team in 25 minutes on the Morning Edge. And I'll see you guys to wrap up the week tomorrow. Don't just count your charts, count your blessings, not just your head and shoulders. Adios. Thank you, Michael. Hey, traders, this is Blake Morrow with Forex Analytics. Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like these videos, share them, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the content that we provide here for free. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.